Yeah, well, I think for me, you know, when I was made aware of the project and like the opportunity from Ridley, I read the book and it was this huge historical event which happened due to, you know, the kind of um, kind of actions that against this woman, the uh, assault against this woman, and yet there was very, very little about her. Um, and then, you know, knowing that Matt, Ben and Nicole really wanted to create this and kind of set it up from three different perspectives, but yeah. ultimately be able to give her a voice and for her to tell her truth. You know, when you when you look at the history of that time, like she had everything to lose by speaking out in the way she did. There's no reason for her to do what she did. Um, so yeah, to be able to give her a voice ultimately. I mean, I think for me, what I took away from, from her and, and, and this story was the, I felt empowered by her. Yeah. You know, like I said, she had she had everything to lose by speaking out and the courage that that takes, you know. Um, so I think, you know, I, especially women, you know, I would like them to feel away, come away feeling empowered. Oh. Yeah, but there was so little, like even the, there's like one known painting of her and it's erased purely just over time. So there isn't really like a real kind of, you know, there's not really any solid information of what she looked like. Then I got to work with Nicole and Nicole kind of had that freedom of using the information that she had but then ultimately had to create this woman and hopefully we really got an essence of her resilience and the, just the kind of the strength that she had.